What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cookie Grandson. Now today I have another review for you guys. Before we even get into this review, I would like to thank you guys for all of your support. It is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and let's continue growing this channel. The channel has been growing like crazy lately. And again, guys, I just cannot thank you guys enough, but let's go ahead and get into this review. So today we have the X Float floating shoe shelves display. Okay, it's kind of a mouthful, but this is the box right here. It comes in a pack of six. My girlfriend got me three because I did get into like a shoe predicament. So I was actually trying to clean the office. It is still a mess right now, but I realized I had nowhere to put any of my shoes. A lot of my shoes don't come in shoe boxes because I mean, I go thrifting all the time. I buy a lot of these off of eBay as well, especially when I do my restorations, but I just literally ran out of room for shoes. So we got some floating shelves. And honestly, I have no idea how to put these in or whatever. I'm gonna have to check out the directions and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out the directions and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to do it. You guys can basically see the before, which is right now, and then the after. Well, I can tell you right off the bat, it didn't take me that long to read the directions. I thought it was gonna actually, you know what I'm saying, be a little bit more wordier than this. It's all that came in the package, bro. Basically, I'm just gonna show you guys what these look like. So they're clear, like I said, and you put them on the wall and it looks like a floating shoe display. Like if you go to, I would say like Foot Locker or like Finish Line, don't they usually? Or like Hibbit Sports, they usually have their stuff sitting on the walls. But anyways, guys, here we go. This is what they look like. So they're clear. So whenever you put them in the wall, you just sit the shoes on top. And it, I mean, it's like a floating shoe when it's not, okay? So it just kind of creates that floating illusion. I'm really interested in seeing what these are gonna turn out like because honestly in our next apartment, I was planning on building like a wardrobe and I wanted a shoe wall. So, you know, this could give me a pretty good idea basically of how that will go or look out at least. And apparently we just take these white things right here. All right, we take these white things and we sit it like this. I don't know if they had it down. Okay, they set it like that, all right? So you put the white one in first, and then you put these little screws in here. They actually included everything that you need in here. So you sit it up there, then you jup, jup, and then boom, there you go. It's literally that simple. So I don't think anybody should be able to mess this up. This is probably the most simplest installation that anybody could probably even think of when it comes down to these, okay? Literally just putting that in there. Whoever came up with this idea, you're probably a millionaire right now. But I'm gonna take this all out of the film and stuff like that, and we're going to get some of that out of the way so we can see exactly where we wanna start our wallet. I might actually have to stand on the couch, I don't know. All right, you guys, as you can see, the wall is up. The shoe wall is up, but I just gotta chirp at you guys for a second, all right? So when it comes down to this shoe wall, one thing that I did notice, some of the pieces weren't the same that I ordered. Like they weren't all super clear. Some were frosted. So that's one complaint right there. Two, it is going to take two people to do this, okay? You may not want to, but you will have to call up somebody to help you out simply because it depends on where you're trying to put this at. It's gonna be really high up there and it's almost impossible to hold it and actually put in those screws with a drill okay it's just a lot going on so this kind of is a two-man job now it is possible to do it by yourself but I would highly recommend you to have a second person on standby just in case but I mean I can't complain it looks nice okay it does look nice it does give that floating shoe effect which is why I wanted it now I got to give this a rating and honestly I'm giving it a seven okay now it does pull off the effect so I mean that's a 10 all the way across the board it does what it needs to do but when it comes down to like the actual product itself having mismatched colors is not the best thing okay granted you can't necessarily notice it with the shoes on the wall but I mean you can still tell the difference between the frosted and the clear two even though the installation is pretty much straightforward even though it doesn't take a rocket scientist I still feel like the directions should be like every other product just go ahead and load up with a whole bunch of instructions you know what I'm saying more than likely people toss instructions to the side understandable but still they should have included a little bit more directions even though it's not necessarily needed and three when it comes down to this product you don't even need like the little anchors if you have a pretty decent wall behind you you don't even need those little anchors so you're really not even having to use those whatsoever so those would just be laying around you can use those for another project but again overall my rating is a seven I am still satisfied with the way it looks don't get me wrong but overall the product it does its job but you know what I'm saying it could be improved just a, just a little bit but now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more up close of the wall behind me. So again, I love the way this turned out. So I ended up getting 18 shelves. 
So this is a three by five. I have 15 pairs and I still have some more pairs. I'm not completely done, but I'm just calling it a day as of right now. But we got the Gamma Blues. We got the ones up there, the OG Retro Nines. We got some fives up there. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm really interested in seeing like, how can I like mix it up to make it look a little bit more unique? I feel like honestly, it looks pretty good, but you know, we may do like all Jordans across one row and do all New Balance across another row, do all Nikes on the bottom row. I don't know, but Again, I love the way it looks. It, it does its job for sure, but the product itself is, eh, you know, but it works. So, you know, let me quit nitpicking. It works, so I can't necessarily complain, but I'll stand back just so you guys can see it better. Like now the shoes actually look like they're floating, okay? So, you know, the farther back it looks better. Up close, you kind of can notice the little frosted in the silver, but it's no big deal, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, there we go. So again, guys, it does its job. So I can't necessarily complain. All of my complaints were kind of just nitpicky, all right? But overall, it does its job and I mean, it doesn't take that long. Pretty simple to install. Can't really knock it, honestly. I mean, you can, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy. Again, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. And to all of my current subscribers, I would like to thank you guys for all of your support. It is greatly appreciated. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.